Star Citizen Alpha 3.23 is now out the door in the live servers and um, I think this is a great opportunity for us to start talking about Star Citizen Alpha 4.0. So now CIG has projected a release of a Q3 release but it is a possibility that it may be pushed into uh, Q4 but nonetheless um, what I want to do in this video is I want to talk about um, the information that we know so far pertaining to the planets of pyro um in this video i'm going to talk about pyro one two and three in particular uh just to give us uh, especially new players some insight on what to expect in terms of the resources the um in in terms of mining okay so before we get into this video just to let y'all know i am doing a giveaway for the morai pulse in order to participate all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of june all right, let's get into the video. So um, as you can see, I already have the pyro system here. Pyro 1 is going to be the very first uh, plan that I want to cover in this video. Okay, so all right, so let's uh, let's get into the text that CIG gave us uh, for this uh, planet. So it says Pyro 1 is the first planet from the sun of pyro system. Its thick, high-pressure atmosphere hides a strange landscape beset by powerful winds and lightning strikes. Under the clouds, there is an ecosystem of planets and animals that endure its extreme, extremely high temperatures, even during powerful stellar flares. So, um, I did get a chance to um, play the preview channel that happened out in November last year. And um, I did go to Pyro 1. From what I remember, it had a bluish hue, very, very cloudy, as it was uh, written. And um, from what I remember, it's, yeah, it's once you get beneath the clouds, you can't really see um, beyond the clouds, really. It's, it's that dense in terms of how cloudy it is and i remember that it was extremely hot all right so so this is something to consider um they did mention about animals at that time and tech preview animals were in the game so i think with the release of that we can expect um some creatures also added to those uh pyro planets as well so yeah so so now in terms of resources what can you expect in pyro one as a pioneer miner okay so um i have some data from this individual that's uh, gotten the uh, build from tech preview and was able to extrapolate some of the uh, percentages of resources on each planet based on the tech preview build so now there's a high probability that this these numbers are going to change super high probability okay so um pyro one is actually a pretty good planet in terms of resources and which kind of makes sense because it's very close to the sun you have to deal with solar flares and you have to also deal with the the fact that uh it's so hot and uh the environment is very dangerous okay so so now in terms of quantanium you're looking at 4.9 percent of the ores that you can find there will most likely have quantanium in it all right if you look at uh in terms of bexalites you're looking at 17.1 percent uh and then 12.8 percent uh of gold and then you're looking at 17.4 percent of terranite which is considered these are those three are considered a tier one ores and um bexalite the percentage for bexalite is the best out of all the planets and it is also the best planet for Terranite for all the planets within Pyro. Okay, so it's a great place. Um, when you're looking at Tier 2, um, in regards to Agrisium Barrel, uh, Boras, Hephaestonite, uh, Lernite, you're looking at 5.84 Agrisium, 12.94 Burl, and Boras, is, you're looking at 11.6, and then 14% for Hephaestonite and 3.5% for Laranite. So you're not really going to find that much Laranite there. So, um, and in terms of the base ores, um, the tier threes, you're looking at 35% for copper and you're going to find a lot of tongue skin there as well. Okay. So Pyro one, that is what you can expect from it. Um, 
from what I recall, I believe Xeno threats, some of the outposts there may have Xeno threat there. I think from what I remember, there might be Xeno threat outposts that you may run into. I'm not sure if they're going to have NPCs flying around uh, randomly or even around um, the airspace of Pyro 1, but uh, you can expect to see Xeno threat in that area. Okay. So, up next, um, Pyro 2 is also called Monox. Okay, so it says Pyro 2 is the second planet from the sun of the Pyro system, nicknamed Monox for the deadly carbon monoxide in its atmosphere. It has a temperate climate and was seen as a viable candidate for terraforming shortly after its discovery. However, its proximity to the system's volatile sun made it dangerous for human habitation and the United Nations of Earth refused to clear it for terraformation, instead allowing corporate corporations to harvest its natural resources. Undeterred by the potential risk, outlaws eventually took up residence on the planet when the last corporation pulled out of Pyro in the 26th century. Interesting. So Pyro 2, it, it is, um, I remember, I remember going to that one, uh, uh, it was, it was temperate. I did go to a couple outposts at that location. All right, where is Monox? Right here. I did go to um, the, I, did, I do remember there was some outposts that I, I, I managed to go there and I was able to buy a few things from the tech preview build and uh it isn't a bad uh planet uh to explore it's it's pretty decent um but uh, in terms of what what can you expect there right so it has a better percentage for quantanium sitting at five percent and you, for bexalite it's it's a decent uh percentage with 15 percent 15.1 for gold and 13.3 for terranite so it's also decent for resources okay in terms of at least the tier ones uh, for tier twos, you're looking at 8.5 for aggressium, 11.8 for barrel, and 10.4 uh, boras, and 9.3 uh, for hephaestonite, and 11.8 for laranite. So, once again, it's also decent for uh, resource um, harvesting. 39.9 uh, for copper, and also you're going to find a good deal of tongue skin there as well. So, it's a decent place. Um, if you don't want to deal with the rough temperatures of Pyro 1, another, uh, the next runner-up will be Monox, which is Pyro 2. Okay, so, um, yeah, so look out for that one as well. It's a decent planet. So now, Bloom is going to be the third planet. I remember going here. Um, is this the one? I think this is the one that has the yellow grass, I think. From what i recall so it says bloom it says bloom pyro 3 is the third planet from the sun of the pyro system cold but naturally hab habitable it um, became the epicenter of mining endeavors in pyro uh, pyrotechnics amalgamated amalgamated um, and other corporations constructed multiple staging sites employees barracks and processing centers that were in use until the cost of other maintenance could no longer be offset by mining profits abandoned when the last active corporations in pyro seized operation there is a late 26th century they were claimed by squatters outlaws and former miners who lacked the means to return to the united empire of earth so yeah so bloom is was a decent planet i think this was the one that did have the yellow grass we seen this in um a previous citizen con uh, reveal of pyro it's um it's also decent for resources you're looking at 5.3 which is even better for quantanium 14.1 for bexalite and 14.6 for gold and we're looking at uh 14.5 for terranite 7 point um for the tier twos you're looking at 7.5 for aggressium barrel looking at 13 you're looking at 11.3 for uh, Boraz Hephaestonite. You're looking at 10.2 and 9.7. So 
so it's also decent it's also decent for um uh, uh, uh mining actually it's actually probably the third best uh for mining so the, it seems like the closer you get to the planet the better chance you have to getting the higher tier ores for the low tier ones you can find titanium you can find a great deal of titanium on this one as well um and which is uh pretty good as well so um these are going to be the three that i'm going to cover in this video um are you guys excited for Star System Alpha 4.0 with Pyro? What is going to be the first planet you want to visit? First planet or uh, station that you plan to visit? Okay, you guys let me know that in the comments down below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one.